throwing a ball toward home plate 10 meters away. If the ball is pitched horizontally at a speed of 22 meters per second, how far will the ball have dropped when it reaches home plate? Our first job is to figure out where to put all the numbers we were just given in this problem. We have to split them up into left and right numbers, which is X stuff, and up and down numbers, which is Y stuff. So we'll go through it step by step. The softball player pitches the softball toward home plate 10 meters away. 10 meters away is to the right in our picture, so it's left and right stuff. So I know that my distance in the X is 10 meters. The ball is pitched horizontally, so there's no angle. It's just thrown directly to the right, so there's no initial upward speed or downward speed. So anytime you have a horizontal problem, our initial speed in the Y direction is zero. And the ball speed is 22 meters per second, and since it's horizontal, all of that speed is in the X direction. Finally, the question is, how far will the ball have dropped by the time it reaches home plate? That's our distance in the Y direction. And finally, there's one more number, which we always know in projectiles, which in the Y direction, the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So now we're looking for something in the y direction, but we don't have enough stuff to solve. So we're going to go over to the x direction and solve for time. Since once we know time in the x, that will give us time in the y, and will give us enough information to solve for the distance in the y, which is what we're really looking for. So in the x direction, we only have one equation because we have constant velocity in the x. And that's distance equals velocity multiplied by time. We're looking for time, so rearranging that equation. I get time equals distance over velocity. And if I plug in my numbers, I should get that 10 meters divided by 22 meters per second gives me a time of 0 0.45 seconds. That's how long it will take the ball to get to home plate once it's been pitched. Now that I know that time, I know it in the y direction. And now I can pick a kinematics equation which will get me my d in the y direction. The only blank spot is vf, so I want to pick the equation that does not have vf in it. And that is d equals v naught t plus one half a t squared. Something that's very nice about horizontal projectile problems is v naught is zero. So make your life a little bit easier. Make the algebra a little bit easier. And know that if v naught is 0, this whole term just cancels out, making the algebra so much simpler to do. Now I just have to plug in my numbers and solve. 1 half times negative 9.8 meters per second squared times 0.45 squared. You plug that into your calculator, you should get negative 0.99 meters. So that's how far the ball drops, just shy of one meter till it gets the home plate.